our entertainment correspondent and Jackson Co College professor, Mike Mara. Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing, Bart? Good. Welcome back. Happy New Year. And happy Valentine's Day. Oh, we have well, a, thank uh, you. Valentine's sticker for you. Terrific. And it says perfect Morning. match. Perfect match. Is that you and I, Bart? You and I. Perfect. Yeah. There you go, right there. Awesome. Thank you. Very <laughs> kind. Do you have any big plans for Valentine's Day? Uh, I'm going to go home and eat dinner and watch television with my wife. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice and romantic. Well, you know, when our people, that's what we do. We, we, we watch TV. There you go. Yeah. What are you watching? Oh, we, uh, we, uh, we just finished watching uh, the last time I was on, on here. We were talking about that Godzilla television program that was oh, on yeah. the uh, Apple Plus, right? Mm -hmm. We watched that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, it, you know, <laughs> lit me on fire or anything, but it was very enjoyable. Liked, huh. it, liked it quite a bit. And uh, we, uh, we just started watching uh, The Continental, which was that John Wick spinoff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We watched the first episode of that last night. It was pretty fun, pretty enjoyable. But uh, we also watched something that I heard you've been up to. We've been watching Fargo. You watch, you watch that? Saw all of season five, yeah. Man. Wrapped up late this year? Late, anyway, mm -hmm. but yeah. So I think it's a 10 episode uh, series and mm -hmm. we're, we've just completed episode nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and it's amazing. Um, and uh, I mean, it's, it's disturbing. Sure. Because it deals heavily with domestic violence. Right. Um, but I think in a very, uh, in a way that yeah. is, is uh, I think, educational. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I, uh, we, uh, my wife and I, we thought the same thing. We, uh, we watched all of season five. And uh, every time that it, it did address these domestic uh, abuse issues, it was always done with a very, uh, a very soft touch, a very, uh, they paid attention. They mm -hmm. cared about the types of stories that they were depicting. And they did it in a really impactful and respectful way. Yeah, I felt like, oh my gosh, that's so much a part of the story. The producers, uh, Noah Hawley, no relation, thought... I was going to ask you that. Yeah, we've got we've to include it. I mean, it's the main part of the story, but we really don't want to show it. Right. But we have to. Mm -hmm. So I think they've been very careful in how they right. do it. Yeah. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, but there, is, uh, there is, you've already seen it in episode seven or eight. They do a really excellent job of depicting what they're trying to get across without mm -hmm. actually depicting it. I'll let you read between the yeah. lines on that one, but it was really, really incredible television. It was, and yeah, that was an unbelievable uh, episode and amount of money that, and really everything that went into it. We actually have a clip. Let's take a look. Well, sir, there's no easy way to say this. Um, your wife isn't who she says she is. Let me tell you what I see. Trouble, oh, oh, trouble. I see a woman who outsmarted two kidnappers. Are you okay, ma'am? Never do you mention she is a tiger. She's claiming it never happened. Never what now? She's a wolf in sheep's clothing, that one. Honestly. I'm embarrassed by all the fuss. There is no one on God's green earth who is a greater enforcer of the laws of this land than Roy Tillman. Why do I feel like there's a butt here? But. You got any weaponry back there? Ah! Got an air horn? All you people sneaking around here pretending you're so nice, but I know who you really are. I'm a winner. That don't sound accurate. I'm a winner! Yeah, my ASS. Yikes. Incredible, incredible television. Uh, John Hamm, the big star of the sure. show, and he's amazing. Uh, he's, uh, you, you hate him, uh, yeah. but that's yeah. a good, uh, mm -hmm. good actor. Yeah, I was really impressed by, uh, by all the main performances, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, Juno, Tem Juno Temple is our main character, mm -hmm. and she, uh, she was famous. she's famous because of uh, Ted Lasso. Right, she's one right. of the main characters on Ted Lasso, and uh, I was really, really impressed. These are obviously professionals doing mm -hmm. a job, but you—they all just faded away, and I didn't see the celebrity. I didn't see the famous person anymore because they're such good actors. John mm -hmm. Hamm was on Mad Men for however long, and we associate him with that show. We associate him with being John Hamm, the celebrity. Um, 
but after episode one, I just saw Roy Tillman, you know, this, yeah. this sheriff who, you know. <laughs> I know. I, you can I watch the show, you figure it out. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's wild. So it's interesting, uh, and I think it's a trend now, that we have a number of limited uh, uh, episodic series that have sure. uh, different, it's the same name every year, but right. a diff- it's a completely different story every right. year. So Fargo is this, it, it's incredible as a television program because... You can watch it and enjoy it each season individually because they only have a little bit of uh, story overlap. Not much unless you're paying really close attention. Some of but, it's inside jokes too. Right. But, but the wild thing about this show is that even though you can enjoy it all on its own, if you're familiar with the films of the Coen brothers as well as Fargo in particular, the entire show is, is building upon that foundation and 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 you've got this context and meta text that makes the show it has this whole other level of understanding and a whole other level of depth if you're familiar with those previous movies mm-hmm. and so it's, it's just really serving these two different audiences at once someone who's completely unaware of uh, the Coen brothers filmography or even Fargo in particular and people who are familiar with those things. And it's just this incredible... Noah Hawley is, is, is an incredible filmmaker. Again, no relation, but I wish it was. Um, <laughs> but you're right. It's hilarious and tragic right? at the same time. Yeah, just like the original movie, yeah. right? It's a laugh riot. And um, Noah Hawley, I think it's next year. He, um, after the, uh, the big uh, Fox acquisition from Disney... Uh, they picked up Fox, and one of those properties is the Alien property, right? Alien mm-hmm. Aliens with Sigourney mm-hmm. Weaver and all that. Um, and Noah Hawley is making a Alien television show that's going to be on FX next year. Oh, and wow. I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, it's like uh, there's just so much. Uh, you know, there's just, there's, and I think we talked about this, you know, previously, but there's got to be some point where there's, it, we just can't support all this content. Right. I mean, this is this is this is another show topic, right? <laughs> but um, the uh, almost all of these streaming services are operating at a deficit. They're just hoping yeah. that eventually the money will catch up to the subscriptions, and it's it's no one really knows. Every, everything's a test case right now, except for Netflix, which has been around the longest. Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna see, and, and some of these streaming services have started with no commercials. They're just jammed with the commercials now. And as we were talking before the show, Paramount yeah. laying off 800 people yesterday after after having the Super Bowl be the, the most watched television show in the history of television. Right. Amazing. Yeah. And Amazon just started an ad tier for Amazon Prime. And uh, they, uh, you know, he's shooting people into space. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I got nothing, man. All right. Well, we appreciate your time and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Likewise. Happy to be here. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Mike Mara, our entertainment correspondent and Jackson College professor on uh, the show. We're out of time. 